Fitness in motorsport is really important. I think it's one of those things that can be overlooked when you just kind of see it's all about the machine. And I think, you know, that the advances in sports science now are able to give you so many metrics on an individual driver when they're so focused on the metrics of a car. Um, for a young driver, the requirements of the strength, the cardiovascular function, the core stability, the neck strength required, you do need to be a pretty elite athlete to deal with, with uh, the demands of, of driving. We're dealing with 50, 60 kilogram athletes that, although they may be small, are pretty strong and robust. We're just under gym now, um, which was pretty intense, but uh, something I expected to be that way. So you got to you know, make sure that you give it your all, but still have a bit left in the tank towards the end. I never look forward to a fitness test, but something has to be done, so I have to give it the, the, the best I've got. So in the gym, we're looking at strength. So I was looking at upper body strength, lower body strength, core strength. Over here, we're testing for cardiovascular performance on the bike. My name is Max Meneglier and I'm the driver development engineer at Red Bull Technology. In this particular testing phase, uh, we're looking not for outright pace uh, necessarily, uh, but more for consistency and the way they approach um, lap time improvement. It's just an experience in itself to be here at Rebel Racing, sort of learn from their engineers, their simulator. It's a really cool setup they've got in there. Uh, I have done simulator work before. Um, I've done quite a lot with my team Fortech, um, preparing for races um, to get the best possible result. Um, however, I've never been on the Red Bull Sim how they approach setup changes, how they perceive it, uh, and also their feedback. It's really important for a good driver to have a good structure of feedback. Uh, if they've got all these and they're quick, then there's a perfect package. So each person that's come in has impressed me in various different ways. It's interesting to see how that transfers across in their driving performance. One in particular has definitely impressed me and has been a standout candidate for me. The level of where this competition is, not just from the, the drivers that are competing uh, to try and win it overall, but just generally from everything, you know, from the car preparation to the, the choice of vehicles that they're, they're going to be out on the circuit in, everything's gone up a level. Um, some of it's been done on lap time and performance in the car, um, but there's other qualities that we're looking at as well, so their feedback to the engineers, um, how they handle that, how they handle themselves, how prepared they are. What we're looking at is somebody who can get down to a lap time super quick. Send it in and sort it out is one of the phrases we often use. And we're looking for the person who's got that ability to be concise with their feedback, to focus on what's required and go out and deliver. buzzing from that last uh, F2 run that we managed to squeeze in. Pretty tired I'd say, it's been a pretty full on day, um, but yes, it's still, adrenaline is still going from that last run. It was like a lot of weight, but the car can hold it because there's so much downfall, so that was something to get used to. Also in the new tyre run, I had a big moment where I nearly lost the car, but it was under control at least, you know. It's interesting because you don't know much about what the others are doing. I think you kind of have a rough idea, but you don't really know, you're quite um, separated from everyone uh, during the whole sort of process. Overall it's been a pretty good good day in the F2 car so far. Jumping in the LMP3 car later this afternoon is going to be a really great experience um, like the Aston. Um, never driven anything like that either. I mean we're now going into a new era aren't we with this award with Aston Martin coming on board and um, the level they operate on gets better and better every year. Yellow flag sector 
one. We will just wait for the weather. Um, it's a more relaxed day compared to yesterday. Um, we're only running the F2 cars, obviously. So unless you can see one Marshall post to the other, you can't run. Um, so I suspect um, my plan at the minute is to run maybe at nine o'clock with the uh, um, school Aston Martins, um, just dry a bit of a line, um, and then we'll get going. Because the rain's gonna come in about one o'clock. Okay, track screen, track screen. These should be in theory it'll be the quickest laps of the uh, week. We thought it was going to rain today, but at the moment it's not raining, so we might get a bit more dry running in yet. You know, at the moment I think that the feelings the drivers are, are going to be under is, is pressure. Racing's about pressure. Um, and the finalists will have been dealing with pressure from a young age, but this is this is it. This is it ratchets it up to the most I'll have ever experienced. There is a lot to play for here because although they're four of the best British drivers that we've got around at the moment, um, we're trying to look for that one. This award surprises me every year. You have to keep an open mind. We've seen them all run in the dry, um, and now we're going to see them run in the, in the wet. There's always something that comes out of the pack that's pretty extraordinary.